Hi guys, welcome back to Beal Science. Now this thing behind me is fantastic. This is an augmented reality sandbox. I've been working on this thing for a couple of months and it's about to blow your mind. I'm not even joking, check this out. Isn't this awesome? I know it's hard to tell what it is right now, but it's drawing topographic lines on top of the sand. So the Xbox 360 eyeball is looking at the surface and it's projecting down on here. And as I move the sand around, it redraws new topographic lines. You can even make it rain, check this out. This is super fine white sand and it's highly reflective. So when the light comes down, it bounces off and it looks like a projector screen, only this projector screen is awesome because it's interactive. So look at this. You can see the topography on the sand. Now, if you want to build one of these, I've got complete instructions. It's going to pop up on the screen, and also there's a link down in the description. But what I'm using here is a connect. That connect is reading the sand, and it requires a whole lot of sand to make this happen. In fact, this is 250 pounds of play sand. And when I finally got this thing built and running, this is exactly how I felt. This was months of work. Now, what's this thing for? Well, all those lines it's drawing are topographic lines. And what is topography? It just shows the contour of the land. So you can see this is sea level. At least that's what it's showing. And I'm building a mountain here. So that's going up the mountain. And each one of these lines is a contour line. It shows that we're going up in elevation away from sea level. So there's they're moving their way up to the top. The closed circles up there, that represents the very, very top of the mountain. Now, as we work our way down the other side of the mountain, back down to sea level and all the way down to the bottom of my fake little ocean here, you're going to see those contour lines moving down again, all the way down to the bottom. Now, we haven't filled it up with water, but you can. That's part of the coolness of this thing. And you get to destroy things. Everybody loves that. The goal in building this was to engage young people with science and technology. And these are my kids. This is one of the first times I turned it on. They'd seen me working on it in the garage and setting it up, but they never really understood what it was until this moment. It, this is the coolest thing ever. This is crazy awesome. But then they figured it out, and within minutes, this is what they had made. Completely blew my mind. Oh my god. Now, my students in high school, once I got this thing built and turned on, I couldn't get them away from it. Took away all the class time. I loved every minute of it, and so did they. Pretty soon, I had a steady stream of teachers coming into my room because they heard about this sandbox thing. And they wanted to play. Everybody always tells me, why don't you make it rain? Well, now I can. <laughs> and then a film crew showed up from the local CBS station. They spent 20 minutes after the interview playing, playing in the sand. Isn't that awesome? And remember, I made this for the little kids. But everybody fell in love with it. And then we decided to do a little more experimenting. Like projecting landscapes on top of it and building the sand of that landscape. This is Nico, one of my students, and he decided to make the US. Now what about landforms like volcanoes and islands? That seems like that's what everybody wants to build is volcanoes and islands and then destroy them but it can model so many things. The possibilities are endless. Like a village of Monopoly houses on a floodplain and you make it rain. There's so many things you could do. I think one of the great things here is this sort of interplay of science and technology and the possibilities for what you could use educationally really are endless with this. You know, we got a lot of stuff going on over here at Beale Science. Um, we've got some other great projects if you're thinking about it, including a huge cardboard planetarium that you can build. Just stop on by. Come over to BealScience.com and check it out. Thanks for watching. The concept and program for this was developed by the folks at UC Davis. Go check them out.